Mega Praise Ministries, we're out to reach the lost, to bring the lost sheep back home, to build a relationship between God and man, for the worship, the presence, the healing, the restoring. That's what it's about, the restoring of the homes, the restoring of the families, the healing of the bodies, to enjoy a relationship with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We love the worship. We love the outpouring of the presence of God. This is what this ministry is all about. Mega Praise Ministries. To see what that was that was lost. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, God bless you everyone, you know, I'm Pastor Manuel Johnson, this is only the truth, and like we've said before, we'll say it again, the good news is that you can overcome the bad news in Christ Jesus, hallelujah, we got a wonderful program for you here today, I got wonderful anointed guest here, and guess what, Sylvia Stanford from Sylvia Stanford Ministry is here, hallelujah, yes. praise God. God, and another wonderful anointed guest, Pastor Nelson from Canada, Canada, Toronto. Toronto, Canada, and he has a wonderful outreach ministry. You're going to learn a little bit about that, too. So I want to welcome my guests here, and just, you know, I just thank the Lord for the things that he has doing in the world. Did you hear me? The world. And thank you, Mr. Engineer, for our background music. And, you know, we are watching us. People are watching us in many different places around the world, and you see my face, and we've, I just want to continue to remind you, Continue to send in those prayer requests. We're receiving them. We're getting them. We're praying over them because we're believing God for your change, for Amen. your breakthrough, and for your deliverance. Amen. Remember, there is nothing impossible with our God. And he's Jesus. You know, to the Gentiles, he is Jesus. And to the Jews, he is the Messiah. Understand that. But saints, God is moving. Many of us were continually focusing on what's going on in the second heaven. But let me tell you what's going on in the third heaven. The gates of hell is not prevailing against the church. You see, if you listen to the things that are going on in the secular world, you're thinking that the enemy is winning. Why? Because your eyes is on the secular. But if it's on the spiritual, what did Jesus tell us? He tells us and he reminds us, uh, uh, Pastor uh, Sylvia, Jesus reminds us in Matthew, he says, when you see these things happening, these earthquakes, these terrible yes. things, he says, look up, not the second heaven, the third heaven, for your redemption draws nearer. And many of us will continue to keep ourselves focused on what's going on in the realm of the demonic. And you're thinking that this is the way it is. No. Saints, when your eyes open, you will see more angelics than you'll see of the enemy. When your eyes is open, you'll see the truth instead of a lie. When your eyes is open, you'll see that anointing. You'll understand when your ears are not. God tells us what he tells us in Jeremiah 33, 3. He says, call upon me and I will answer thee and tell you things that you know not. But you got to call upon Jesus. I know you, we, we watch Facebook, but what about the face of Christ? Huh? Saints. I'm in it to win it. Amen. I'll say it again. I am in it to win it. Do you realize that God has greatness for you? He's called you and I for greatness. Sylvia, he's called us for greatness. Why don't we look in the mirror when we wake up in the morning and we will see a prince or see a queen? That's what God looks at us as. You and I have been called for greatness. Don't you know who you are in Christ? And I don't want to get started, because I'll get started. But we have some great things that are happening. I believe this is a season. In the beginning of the year, Pastor Nelson, uh, 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 Pastor uh, Sylvia, the beginning of the year, we were ministering. And I said, Lord, you know, I don't want to give this prophecy, 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 prophecy. This is what God going to do for you. To you. I, want, I want to know what's happening in the army of God. Amen. What's, what's happening? 
And Lord showed me that this was a season that of stretching. He's stretching our faith. This was a season of stretching. A season where our faith is being stretched, but a season also of acceleration. Mm. Where things that normally would take months and weeks and years are going to happen quickly. That many of us are stepping into our destiny. Because I, I, we're seeing it in our ministry. That we're stepping into our destiny. We're getting out of that boat. And you, Sylvia, I've known her for a handful of years. And she is not just a, a woman of God, but she ministers around the board. And her son had a radical transformation That's right. because she was a mother of prayer. Amen. I'm going to tell you that. And because of that, God has switched her focus. She does many women groups, and that will continue. But God has ignited her to ignite the youth movement. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> you know? Before you can ignite anything, you got to be ignited. Yeah. Come on. Hallelujah. <laughs> come, on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And it's happening this year, but this is just the beginning. It's called Unite. It's going to be in California. Yeah, California. And the weather is going to be better than what it is today. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening June 1st of this year in Azusa Pacific University, and you don't want to miss it. You tell your friend, you tell your enemy. We need to get there. <laughs> because on. why? Because God has something to say to you and the youth. Yes. yes and right. his spirit is pouring upon all flesh. Remember the book of Joel. It tells you that in the last days, God's spirit wasn't just going to pour on his servants, but the maid servants, and, and it's going to put on the young, the youth. His spirit will pour on the youth. And we're living in those times. And, 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 and Minister Sivir, you know, I'm going to have you expand on this. Go ahead. Yeah, you know what? It is really exciting. Actually, um, as you can see on the flyer, it says, Take the old flames and give me a new fire. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. You know what? That means that there is a season where there are those that have been sleeping in the church. Come on. And at this time, we are seeing a new movement. Many prophets have prophesied stadiums, yes. and we believe that this is the time. In fact, as we speak... On behalf of my son, you know, this night, 60 youth, 60 millennials will get on the flight to go to Orlando to the Send. And so we are seeing that it's already starting in America. And America, it's going to be completely for Jesus. We declare that in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to see what eye has not seen, what ear has not heard, what has not touched the heart of men. It's about to take place, Pastor Manuel. Pastor Manuel, there's something happening, Pastor Nelson. Come You're on. coming from Toronto, Canada. Go ahead. And what we are seeing is that there's a new breed. There is a new wine being raised. Come on. And this is this generation, the millennials. And you're absolutely right. I have been focused in women conferences and I speak all over the world. But the Lord caught my attention with my son, Brandon. And you met him today. Yeah. And he said, your son will be the sign on the wonder of what I'm going to do mm. with the millennials. And what did that look like? He's about to restore. Come on. Because you see, they have been so far away from the things of the Lord. And many of you maybe are watching and you have given up on your own son or your own daughter. Yeah. But God is returning the hearts of the father to the children. Say it that again. Say that again. Restoration. Malachi 4 tells us that he's, you know, the spirit of Elijah will be, you know, um, uh, loosen on the earth so that the hearts of the father to the children will be turned and the children to the father and what is that going to look like he's really called me to pay attention to my own children because you know what pastor as we do what we do and you're traveling all over the world you have you're a dad you have children yes. we focus so much also on the youth and all everybody out there That's right. and sometimes it's so hard because we as ministers of the gospel we deal with situations with our own children. And he said to me, remember, I left 99 for the one. So not only are we going to see that this is a season of evangelism, uh -huh. true evangelism, <clears throat> where we're going to have to leave the four walls of the church Come on. to go Come out on. there. Oh and, and this is what Ignite California is about. Ignite California is going to take place. It's not a conference. It's not another conference. We don't need conferences. <laughs> we don't need another conference, Pastor Manuel. I know, I know. It is an encounter 
because it oh. was an encounter with the Lord Jesus and the Holy Ghost that transformed my son. Come on. He and he was healed from bitterness, anger. He came back a new man. You prayed for him. Seven years. That's right. So seven years he revived. Seven it's like years. it's like Elijah. He laid on him seven times. He revived the sun. Yeah. Glory to and God. And this is an <laughs> that we're going to speak to the dead bones, the dry bones, and we're going to prophesy. And there's the two generations coming together: the fathers, the millennials, the children. And I want you to go in on www.ignitecali.com. Get the information. We need volunteers. You know, we're going to see 5,000 people coming from all over the United States, from outside <coughs> of the United States, okay. because it is a Holy Spirit calling you forth. If you're a mom, if you're a dad, you got to be there. Bring your grandchildren. We want to see 13-year-old and up, because God is a God of generations. Yes. And believe God that they're going to be touched. We're going to gather together on June 1st in Azusa, California, and I'm telling you, Give you the need website. to be part. Give them the website. www.ignitecali.com. And go ahead and be part of it. I don't care where you're watching from right now. If you're in Egypt, if you're in uh, Latin America, or if you are in another state here in the United States, get your plane tickets and make it a point to be there. And take this and take it to the, this nation. You know what? Pastor... Um, uh, Nelson called me this week and said to me, Prophet to Sylvia, I want to take Ignite to Canada. Let's do Ignite Canada. And this is what the Lord told me. I got a call from another man of God in Ghana and said, you know what? This is so from God. Can we do Ignite Ghana? And we believe we're going to do Ignite in Israel. And we believe that we will take Ignite to your nation or your state. So you need to contact us. Go ahead and log in in www.ignitecali.com. This is a new season for the Holy Spirit to come in and touch a generation that have, you know, uh, created maybe a stony heart. But we're going to see them touch and transform with a new fire, a fire that is going to... Uh, stay in them it's not going to be something that is temporary that means that's a, that's, a, that's, that's a refining fire it is a refining, that's a refining fire, fire. It is. <laughs> oh come on come on yes yes and now what is the tickets the tickets are only twenty dollars come on you could actually you can't even buy coffee for a week exactly that. <laughs> you know what? what what you know how much is a soul worth you know i want you to uh invest and get a few tickets and bring your nieces. God is a God of generations. As you sow in this generation. If you're a pastor, I'm telling you that if you join this vision of what God. This is not about a Sylvia Sanford. This is about what God is doing. We got to be able Come to discern on. the times and the seasons. We got, you know, the sons of Isaac are new the times and seasons. And this is what God is doing. We're not, we're, we're not interested in another conference. So the Lord said to me. I want you to put aside your women's conference. You should not do anything else before you do this. Mm. Because this is what my heart is. And I am so excited. I'm telling you, I have Brian Barcelona, you know, president of One Voice, One Voice Worship. We have Matt Cruz, who's an amazing evangelist coming. I'm bringing Angelica Zambrano, you know, visitations yes, from yes. hell and heaven, Woo. from South America. My son is going to be there. We have so many. We have the worship, uh, Cub worship team, uh, uh, Abraham Crystal, and I could go on and on, but you could go actually on the website and see uh, who's part of it. Give them that Joe, website again. Give them the time again. At www.ignitecali.com. June 1st www.ignitecali.com. I had given you a, a video. I don't know if they're going to yeah, be able gonna to play it. Yeah, we're going to do it. it. Uh, Mr. Engineer, will you play that special clip there uh, uh, regarding the registration of Ignite? Go ahead. Thank you. So why don't you guys don't forget to register. There will probably be a link somewhere below or above. Register, uh, register the people that are rolling with you guys so we just know that you're going to be coming and we're truly excited to see you all there. Wow. wow. I know you want. I know you're getting hungry. I know the Lord is touching you right now. God is crying out. 
You know, there are many things that the Lord loves. The poor and the youth. You touch the youth, you touch the Lord. Amen. Remember that. And I see how Elijah in First and Second King had to come out of their comfort zone. He had to come from the mountain where he was praying to go to the youth. Out from the four walls and go and take care and revive this youth. Come on. Because God has called us. Why do you think God is dealing with the youth? Because there are today's youth will be our tomorrow's lawyers and doctors and, and congressmen and our teachers and pastors. You don't want to give them to the world. That's right. God has a purpose and a calling for each and every one. God knew them in their mother's womb. Remember Jeremiah? Remember Jeremiah? It's that same goes for the youth. And you and I. You and I have to understand. Many people right now, especially youth, are not walking in their divine destiny. That's right. Because they're being lured away by familiar spirits, by temptation, by the, by the, the, by the demonic stuff of this world. And that's not at their purpose. That's not God's that's divine purpose. That's right. And the night is here to ignite, to make an awareness that there's a God in heaven that loves them. Because he is the father to the fatherless. He's the brother to the brotherless. The mother to the motherless. And do you realize that the youth are crying out? They may not say it verbally, but they're crying in from crying out from within. All around the world. And look, this is the first time we're doing something like this. And people are already saying from different parts of the world, we need to have it in our country. So that tells me that they're crying out around the world, not just America. Yes, that's, that's right. telling me they're, the world is having a youth that's problem. Right. That's right. A youth issue. Yeah, in the world. In the world. It's not that, you know, it's not that, oh, maybe I should be a part of it, maybe not. You can't afford not to be a part of it. Everybody, every man, every woman of God has a part in their ministry with the youth. Whether you're financially supported, whether you're interceding, or whether you are participating, you got something to do. Even if you can't make it, sow a seed. So here's my seed. Here's my seed. I can't be there, but I'm sending my seed to support it. Come on. So do something to be a part of it. This says, Lord, I want to be a part of this historic event that is continually moving. Continually moving. So, on my program, I was going to teach, but I left it open because I said, I think God is stirring something else happening. So, I'm discerning, and we need to get the word out. We need to get the word out. Like Sirius Sanford said, it's not a woman's thing. It's not a Sylvia thing. It's not a Manuel thing. It's not a Nelson thing. It's a God thing. That's it's right. a God thing. Come and when on. it's a God thing, yeah. it's just like Seymour Williams. When the Azusa broke out, he hid himself under the piano seat. He says, this is, this is not a Williams thing. It's a God thing. Yeah. And everybody, and that thing went, and that revival, according to the historic history, went, went, kept going for two and a half years, around two and a half years. Mm -hmm. And people around the world, which is coming from a house, from a house, and then the, the floor collapsed, and they had to go to a bigger facility because the floor could not sustain the traffic and people and denominations and different nationalities and this is what it's about Come on. and God will change our schedule that we will be on his schedule hallelujah that's what Get he did well absolutely and this is what's happening because when you got to understand this you want you want God to laugh tell him your plan <laughs> that's Come right on. that's right but you want to be a part of this and many of you you know us because you watch us weekly we're on several times a week, and I want to thank you for the, your love, your prayers, and support. And bigger things are happening. And saying, so don't miss this event. And so this is not just the event. It is a beginning. An encounter. And it's going to be happening, an encounter. And God doesn't just want the people. Let me, he wants the youth to be touched. And we're going to re-air it and re-air it because it needs to happen. People need to be transformed through the power of God. And, you know, Pastor Manuel, um, 
one of the things uh, where I'm excited about having Pastor uh, Nelson from Toronto, Canada, it's precisely because he is a revivalist and he works with the youth. I saw his, some, a lot of his photos, how the Lord has used you, Pastor Nelson, to go out in the streets, in the streets, and I ain't talking about California cold, <laughs> talking about Canada, Toronto cold, yeah, yeah. and you're ministering, and you're ministering in the cold, but you're ministering, and you're feeding the, you're feeding the hungry, you're clothing the naked, and you're sheltering the homeless, mm. and this is what it's about. And you, sometimes you're doing it raw, and sometimes you're doing it with some assistance, but you're doing it. And this is what it's about. Who would go on the highways? Who would go within the lowways? Who would go in the cold? Who would go in the heat? He, who, who would do it? Who would go when someone is, 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 has a, a smell that you never, who would do it? The Lord says it. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was hungry, you fed me. When I was incarcerated, you visited me. And so people think that the glory ministry is all about the platform. You've missed it. Come on. Because what is God is saying about you? God is, has radically changed Sylvia's son and Sylvia, her ministry, her life is all shifting. Because somebody had to do it. Come on. Somebody needs to go. It's not about my ministry or what God is doing with us. It's how we are being a vessel. We need to come together. We need Amen. to come Say together. Say it again. We need to come together and just be part of it. Amen. And Pastor Nelson, you know, you, you really are doing an amazing job with uh, the youth. Tell us a little bit about that. And why do you feel that you want to have Ignite in Canada? Like the, the pastor was saying, I believe the world, uh, the youth, they're lost. And mm -hmm. they don't have a destiny. They don't believe they have a destiny, what God promised them. And they're forgetting they have no value, you know. Most of the youth right now from maybe 13 to 17, they're pregnant, abused, and everything you can imagine. Or they're in prostitute and, and everything. And the church is not looking at that. Everybody, the church is looking for a good platform. There where it is. Where I can get a good platform, where I can be famous, where I can release my uh, book. And nobody's looking out of the four walls. And, you know, I believe when we start investing in the young people, mm -hmm. we'll see the future. Come on. We'll wow. see what God is going to do. Well, Pastor, and pa Pastor Nelson, I I'm telling you, and I didn't want to cut you off because of time frame, but how can they get a hold of you? Oh, they can reach me in uh, Com uh, Nelson Kamara. Look at that camera and tell them. It's uh, Nelson Kamara. It's uh, C-A-M-A-R-A. And you can catch me on Facebook, you can, in my page there, or Grace Revival Assembly, that's my church. Okay. You can send me in a message, private, my telephone number is there. If you need any assistance, if you're in Toronto, or hear what we can do for you, Amen. we're here to serve. Amen. And you know, we, so we got a few minutes left. I want to talk to you about uh, a special program, CHI which is um, Christian Solidarity International. We're partnering with them because there are thousands, yes, I'm going to say it again, thousands of slaves in Sudan that are being slaved by radical religion. And the, the, this clip will tell you more about that. Go ahead, Mr. Engineer, and uh, we want you to be a part of it, and it's going to help free those slaves. During the Sudanese Civil War, Islamic militias raided the Christian majority villages of southern Sudan, wreaking death and destruction. Hundreds of thousands were kidnapped and taken into slavery, torn away from their families, forced to convert to Islam, and subjected to untold horrors. Today, tens of thousands are still enslaved, but there is hope. Since 1995, Christian Solidarity International has liberated over 100,000 of these who have been enslaved, bringing them home, reuniting them with their families. We need your help to bring those left home. $250 will free one person from slavery and provide them with a survival kit. Basic items like food, shelter, a goat, and fishing supplies. Please. Help us bring freedom 
for South Sudanese Christians and other minorities by giving generously. $250 frees one person. $500 frees two people. $1,000 frees four people. We won't stop until everyone has been freed. Join us. We are partnering up with CHI Mega Praise Ministries. We want to free the Sudans. We're living in a world where we are free, but that's not happening in different parts of the world. So once you partner up and be a part of that, and we're allowing this to go around the world so the world can be, awareness could be, to be known what's happening. We know that the Lord is touching your heart right now. And the, our book of the month is God's Air Force. Both uh, me and my wife was part of this, but she's the main author. She has lots of revelations in here. God's Air Force. We want you to get it for any amount right now. It takes us, it allows me to cross borders through the airwaves. Did you know that? Yes, I can cross international borders by getting the gospel out. It's important, saints, that we have to get the gospel out. So for any amount, we want to send you this book, God's Air Force, powerful revelations. The Lord downloaded many revelations to my wife regarding this book, and we know that it's going to be a blessing to you. It is very anointed, and I just know it's going to just... We also have had ministers have used some of our books for their conferences, and because of what the Lord has done, and we give God the glory for that. But for the uh, book of the month, the gift of the month, uh, offer 777, offer 777, call in, go on our website, megapraiseministries.com, that's megapraiseministries.com, we also have a 24-7 number you can call, you can order from our, from the website, you can order online, we'll be happy to send it out to you for any amount, it gets us around the world, we can be around the world in 28 minutes, hallelujah, getting the gospel out, we we'll love you for that, I want to continue to thank you, and I've said it before, if Jesus is not your Savior, why don't you make him your Savior today? Do you know him? Do you know him, not as a good man, not just as a prophet, as your Lord of Lords and Kings of Kings? See, one day, well, before I knew him, he was my judge, but now I know him, so he's my Savior. So the day is going to come. Remember, he paid a price that he never owed, and we owe a price that we could never pay. So give you him his life right now. Why don't you pray with all of us right now? Jesus come into my life. I believe you are the son of God. I believe that you've came and you, 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 we, we, you've came and you, you, you died and you rose again to save me. Be my Lord and Savior right now. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. If you prayed that prayer and you meant it, God has blessed you now and he saved you. Right now, we're going to lay hands on this prayer because we only got a few seconds. But Lord, we just speak for prayer, we just speak that, Lord, every prayer request will be answered. Lord, heal. Lord, save. Lord, deliver. Lord, set free right now. Let every prayer request be answered according to thy divine will. Lord, we speak miracles. We speak breakthroughs in Jesus' mighty name. Wow. Though we have three people praying, and I want to thank my wonderful guest, Minister Sylvia, Minister Nelson, God bless you. you. And remember, the night program's coming, so you want to be a part of that. And we'll see you again on Only the Truth. And remember, as I said, I said it before, I'll say it again. The good news is that you can overcome the bad news in Christ Jesus. We love you so much. All around the world, God bless you. Bye-bye.